For just about as long as man has been building, he's been obsessed with height. As Dubai's new building, Burj Dubai, surpasses Taipei 101 and the CN Tower as both the world's tallest building and tallest freestanding structure, we take a look at the past, present, and future of skyscrapers with Anthony Wood of the Illinois Institute of Technology. He's also executive director of the Council for Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat. Thanks for joining us. Yes, hi. Uh, Anthony, I guess I'm kind of curious, what is the, what's behind the quest for height? Is it about uh, dominance? Is it what we, the sort of typical phallic base uh, symbol we think, or is there more to it than that? Well, I think you're right. As you started there, I think uh, the history of mankind has showed that man always had, has had this ambition uh, to build high. Uh, what's driving it? Um, I think, I think that if you, I think men have always, man has always wanted to, uh, man has always wanted to to build high. I think a lot of it is an iconic thing uh, to to be seen above the masses, and I certainly think that's one of the factors that is driving some of the world's tallest buildings around the world uh, today. Let me take a stab at it from a different direction. Ask your opinion on this. I've done a fair amount of investing in real estate, and when you start to talk about downtown cores in some of the cities where these buildings are being made, and you're spending 36 to 50 million dollars an acre, the only way to get a return on the investment is to go straight up and get tremendous density. Isn't what's driving height return of capital the only thing that really matters? The return of the dollars invested in the purchase of the land. Well, I, I, I think uh, there's two factors there. I think if you look historically, the, uh, the, the real estate prices, the, the price of land, has traditionally driven tall buildings. Uh, however, today I think there are other factors involved. I think uh, some of the super tall buildings that are being built um, perhaps are not inspired only by uh, financial prices uh, or price of land. I think they're also driven by... Um, I think they're driven by ambition of people and corporations, and I think the history of the world's tallest buildings has always shown that. I think the difference in the past, perhaps, uh, decade or five or six years has been, uh, you, can, you can see it in the, in the title of the projects themselves, whereas for the first hundred years or so of, of the world's tallest buildings, the, these were driven predominantly by commercial uh, by companies, so you'd see the Sears Tower, the Chrysler building. I think what's changed in the past 10 years or so is that these projects very much involve the governments or city fathers in these countries. And now you can see the titles such as the Burj Dubai, Taipei 101, the, the location of the city is, uh, is, is very much part of the title and part of the project. So it's not just about an economic thing. Uh, there, are, there are people who believe that, that, uh, this, that super tall buildings don't actually stack up economically, hmm. i.e. the costs of constructing over a certain height um, perhaps don't make sense and therefore there's other factors driving it. Of course, Burj Dubai at an estimated four plus billion is pretty costly. It was in part, Antony, uh, precisely what it expressed that made the World Trade Center a target for terrorists. And it seemed in the aftermath of that that there would be fear around tall buildings. Have we, have we gotten past that? Is that now behind us? Well, I, th I, I think the answer is yes. Uh, however, two days after the sixth anniversary of 9-11, I, I think you've got to... Uh, Everybody is aware that that was, you know, one of the biggest events that has happened on a world scale, scale let alone a building scale, um, f perhaps ever. And I think what that did, uh, that, that threw a big, big question mark over the appropriateness of tall buildings uh, in our urban centres. It, it threw a very big question mark, and I think you're right. Many people, many organisations questioned whether tall buildings were, would be suitable into the future. However, six years on from that, I think we can answer that, it, that it is, uh, there's been a resounding uh, vote in favour of tall buildings. And you only have to look at uh, the amount of construction that is going on in virtually every city, tall building construction, in every city in the US um, and overseas to answer that there has been a vote in confidence in, in, to, in tall buildings. I, I think this is, is, is driven twofold. I think first, um, people, although the events of 9-11 were, were uh, obviously grotesque uh, and terrible. I think people, uh, uh, in, on reflection, have taken into account the fact that the chances of that, that happening to other tall buildings or all other tall buildings is, is very, very remote. So I think people...